everyone! This is Angeline Zapata reporting from Pasig City. This is Ricardo Cruz from Malabon City. This is Paulo Reuso reporting from Quezon City. This is Denzel John Estrada reporting from the Gig City. And this is AIS Accounting Information System and Chapter 10. We will be discussing an REA approach to database modeling. The REA approach. REA stands for Resources, Events, and Agents. Let's start first with the user's view. User's view is a compilation of data that are specifically made to a specific user to accomplish his job proficiently. The contents of the compilation of data varies depending on the job description of the user and only the important and essential details of his job description is included in the compilation. Meanwhile, semantic models are models that can cater multiple users and not only limited to a specific users. This model considers the data that is essential to the operations of a whole and provides a brief description about the data. Speaking of REA model, what is REA model? REA model is a framework designed for modeling the entity's resources, events, and agents. The relationship among these three were also part of the model. Meanwhile, REA diagram is an illustration that consists three entity types which are resources, events, and agents. Basically, this is an illustration of the REA model. Let me show you an illustration of an REA diagram. Now, let's move on to the elements of REA. There are four elements that consist of REA model. These are resources, events, agents, and duality. Resources refers to the assets of the organization. Events are classified into two classifications, economic events and support events. Economic events are events that affect resources directly, or basically, it affects the assets directly. Well, support events are activities that do not affect the resources directly, but it still can affect the resources. Next element is agents. Agents are individuals that are involved in economic and support events. These two types of agents are internal agent and external agent. Internal agents are those individuals who is working in, inside the company, while external agents are those agents or individuals that who works outside the company. And the last element is duality. Duality is an economic exchange representing a give event that has a corresponding receive event. Let me give you an illustration. For that example. You might be wondering how to develop an REA model. REA model is developed by using view modeling. View modeling is a model that is designed to identify and illustrate the set of data that are needed by certain individuals in their decision making. So now that you already have some knowledge about REA model, I will now discuss what is the difference between ER and REA model. There are three differences between ER and REA diagrams. Entities, sequencing of events, and naming conventions. In the table, you can... in in terms of entities, ER diagram is talking about one class only, while well, REA diagrams is divided into three classes, resources, events, and agents. Meanwhile, on sequencing of events, ER diagram is a static picture. It shows only through cardinality, but the sequence is not clearly illustrated. While REA diagram is organized from top to bottom within the hierarchy chart focuses on the sequences of events, unlike the ER diagram that does not clearly states the sequence of events. In terms of naming conventions, ER diagram uses singular nouns to illustrate the entities, while REA diagrams uses only singular nouns for resource and agents, while verb for entity events. Now that you already know the differences between ER and REA diagrams, 
let's now move on to the steps to do view modeling. This will be discussed by the next reporter, Mr. Paolo. Thank you, Mr. Estrada. And now my topic will focus on view modeling, creating an individual REA diagram. In order to create a REA diagram, the following steps involved are the following. First, identify the event entities. Second, identify the resource entities. Third, identify the agent entities. And fourth, determine associations and cardinalities between entities. The procedures cited earlier are used for each organizational function being modeled resulted to their individual REA diagrams. The modeling process is finished throughout the view, integrating phase where the individual models are joined into a single global model. We will describe the process of REA view modeling and its features. First, identify the event entities. On developing REA model, the first is to identify event entities on the function being modeled. Some examples of the event entities are verify availability, take order, ship product, and receive cash. The REA model must have two economic events, the give and receive activities that could increase or decrease economic resource during exchange. It may also include supporting events that do not change the resources directly. The second step is identify the resource entities. The next step for creating a REA diagram is classifying the resources that will be affected by the events being modeled and each economic event must be connected to at least one resource entity that will be increased or decreased as a result of the event. The support events are also related to resources thus affect the resource value. Step 3 is identify the agent entities. Each economic event must be connected to at least two agent entities, one internal agent and one external agent. And then last is step 4, determine associations and cardinalities between entities. Association is the nature of relationship between two entities. Cardinality is the degree of association between the entities that defines the number of probable occurrences of one entity that are connected with a single occurrence in the related entity. The four basic forms of cardinality are zero or one, one and only one, zero or many, and one or many. And now for the next reporter, let's welcome Ms. Maricar de la Cruz and Ms. Anjanine Zapata. Hi, this is Maricar and I will be discussing the steps in creating an enterprise-wide REA model. So for step 1, consolidate the individual models. In this step, different procedures undertaken by the entity must be identified, such as the purchase and cash disbursement procedures and payroll procedures. The event entities and resources involved in each procedure must be noted and its association with each other must be determined in order to construct the structural flow of the model. Example of event entities are ordering and receiving product and disbursement of cash. Upon the completion and review of the individual REA models, it will be merged into a single entity-wide REA diagram. For step 2, define the primary keys, foreign keys, and attributes. Primary keys are the direct distinction of each table involved in the process, attributes are the associated information that must be coordinated with each primary key, while foreign keys are supporting keys that accompany the primary key. For example, in taking an order from a customer, the primary key would be the order number and the possible foreign keys would be the customer number or employee number. Hey guys, this is Ms. Zapata and I will be discussing the last part of the topic. The third and final step of view integration is to construct physical database and produce user views. This sets up the design system of the modified information system. In this phase, database tables are developed which resembles an interconnection with the primary keys, foreign keys, and attributes of the element tables in the model. The tables are then populated with data values that belong to a specific element whether it be a resource, agent, or event. Producing accounting and non-accounting reports, the so-called relational database tables are drawn out to generate information of the utmost importance. 
Financial statement accounting figures can be constructed and calculated from the underlying event data provided on the event tables, and these can be later used to prepare income statements, balance sheets, and even journal entries. The database should be a workable source capable of producing multiple reports to cater the information needs of non-accounting users. The data for a particular report are constructed from the various REA tables. Examples include inventory status, sales activity, and customer inquiry. The REA approach involves application of the value chain analysis. It enables the organization to maximize its ability to create value by looking beyond its internal operations to those of its trading partners. Furthermore, an REA model is capable of providing several advantages. Firstly, it helps managers improve the operational efficiency of individual operations. Secondly, it eliminates data redundancy and reduces multiple maintenance procedures. Thirdly, it supports a wider range of user views. And lastly, it provides managers with more accurate timely and relevant information. To end this chapter, although it's possible to extract traditional financial information from event data, doing so from millions of individual event records can be problematic. As a practical matter, larger organizations often compromise the REA model for financial statement reporting purposes. These companies create an event database for operations, planning, and control purposes. And that would be all. Thank you for listening. We hope you learned something from our video. This is... This is... This is... This is Denzel John Estrada. And Janine Zapata. Maricardo Cruz. Paolo M. Reuso. Signing off.